students today let us try to revise the concept of mendel's law with three questions the question number 1 which one of the following cannot be explained on the basis of mendel's law of dominance now mendel's law of dominance state that characters are actually expressed as discrete units called factors factors are always present in pairs jaise ki capital t capital t capital t small t ya fir small t small t and whenever dissimilar factors are present for a particular trait like for example capital t and small t only one will express itself that is dominant and the one which does not express is the recessive one so the answer to this question will be the second option next question mendel formulated the law of segregation on the basis of according to mendel's law of segregation when gamete formation takes place the pair of alleles in a gene separate and each gamete contains only one allele of a gene this law is also known as the purity of gametes law and this law has been proved by monohybrid cross in monohybrid cross what happens is f1 generation mein ek hi dominant character hame dikhai deta hai which is according to the law of dominance lekin recessive character again f2 generation mein present hota hai what does this mean that the two alleles which were representing separate characters or separate traits were actually segregated during gamete formation and they reappear in the offsprings of the f2 generation so according to the law of segregation the answer for this question should be monohybrid cross let's move on to question number 3 which of mendel's law corresponds to ability to study alleles of two or more different genes at the same time so according to the law of independent assortment when we study two or more characters the alleles of the genes separate independent of one another so whenever we look at these traits these traits do not blend among themselves and there is random segregation and then finally when the gametes form there is independent assortment of each character irrespective and independent of other characters so according to this the answer for this particular question should be law of independent assortment 